Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me they need this done with a rounded square. And so I've already done it just to make sure I could do it. So we're going to take a rectangle or a square holding down the control button. We're going to make it eight inches. We're going to round off the corners to 1.5 and around at all the corners because I've got my ratio lock. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of that. And I'm going to hold down the shift key and have it grow from the inside. And I'm going to have it do that. Now I'm going to nudge that one out of the way. I'm going to draw two lines with this holding down the control button to get a straight line. Now I'm going quite a bit further than I need. I'm going to control D while holding down the control button. I'm going to move it over. That way both my lines are equal. We need to find out how long this curve is. So we're going to go to object and convert that to a curve. We're going to go to Windows, Dockers, Properties, and right here is a curve mark. We're at 29.42. We need to make it an even number, so we're going to make it 102, which made it 30.008. That's as close as to 30 as you're going to get. I'm going to put P, put it in the center of the page. I'm going to hit P, but then I'm going to nudge that back. I'm going to grab my two new lines. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Grab my both my lines and go to effect and blend. I need 30 of them to be one inch apart around this 30 inch curve. So I'm gonna blend it 28 times because I've already got two and that'll give me 30. Now I need to go right here to new path and put it on that path. Now I need to blend along full path and rotate the objects. That's what you get. Now we need to break this apart because it's a blend. Go to object, break blend apart. Select it all again, object, group, and ungroup. Now we're gonna take this new box, move it down. Let's tell you what, let's move it out of the way so we won't interfere with anything. We're going to combine these. We're gonna take these and group them. You could probably combine them too, but I'm gonna take these and then nudge them back where they need to be. I'm gonna select everything, my well comes up, and I'm gonna go back minus front. There it took away the lines that are outside the, the boxes. Every one of these lines is one inch apart. They don't really look like it, because on the curvature, but I guarantee they are, or they're really, really, really close. Now, it all because they're one inch on the outside, it doesn't look like they're one inch on the inside. But if we did a test, I guarantee they would be one inch or close to it. I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.